Dakota 4 Arena. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This I wish you good luck. Oh. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This place exists between dreams. Very well. Mm. Um, where am I? It looks like an auditorium. Wait, wait is this our school's gym? Oh, where's Chie? Yukun? Hello? Sorry for the wait. Greetings, boys and girls of Yasugami. The P1 Grand Prix is about to begin. There's no need for manners or courtesy or anything today, so let it all hang out. Tell us how you really feel. Is that Rizai-chan? I, Rizette, will be your commentator. But first, the General has a few words for you all. Huh? Teddy? <laughs> You're all here now. Well then, I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix! Where's that cheering coming from? Was it just a sound effect? I don't see anyone here. John, you still haven't figured out what's going on? Should I give you a special deluxe smooch to wake you up? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Daddy, those clothes! <laughs> I'm sorry, but every time I look at you, that hat fits you. <laughs> Funny. Are you sure you want to keep laughing like that? If you keep it up, you won't be able to reach your most cherished thing. It's just that, that <laughs> My most cherished thing? <laughs> That's it. I'm angry now. If you won't listen when I tell you things, you'll have to find out the hard way. Bring out the next opponent. Yosuke-kun, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> of course I am. Now let's just hurry up and do this. I'll take this opportunity to overcome the Amagi challenge in a different way. <gasps> I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> Isn't it pretty late to be getting cold feet? You're killing the mood here. Hurry up and get ready, Yukiko. Uh, just to be clear... Yosuke-kun, what's gotten into you? Don't tell me you really want to fight. Can't you see what kind of mess we're in? We really need to get our act together. Yikes! Yep, sure enough, Miss Goody Two-Shoes ruins a moment again. You're always like that, you know? Always just going with the crowd. Huh? Oh, sorry, that wasn't it. I meant to say you just jump on whatever the easy way out is. That's not true! You said you thought things over and decided to take over the inn, but... 
I bet you came to that conclusion the same way. tried to act all high and mighty by saying you were determined, but you were just trying not to rock the boat. It's too much trouble thinking on your own, so you closed your eyes to everything. Isn't that right, Miss Goody Two-Shoes? <sighs> now there is something you don't see every day. What are you thinking so hard about, Yosuke? What was that supposed to mean? But uh, it's nothing. What? Come on, you can tell me. Here, I'll help you with whatever it is. Huh? What's this piece of paper? Hey, hey! Oh, this is for our guidance counseling. Hey, don't look at that! Oh, so you're having a hard time deciding on your future. Can it? Anyway, what about you? Come on, Chie. Knowing you, it must be something incredible, right? Ha ha ha! Very funny. I'm all set on what I want to do. That sounded like you meant it. Did you think I was lying? That's pretty rude, you know. I'm totally serious about it. Seriously? What about you then, Yukiko? Are you going to take over the inn after all? Mm-hmm, that's the plan. I gave it a lot of thought, but in the end, that's what I'm going with. Does that make me the only one still undecided? It's impossible. But man, that's amazing, Yukiko. Next to Chie and her, whatever pops into my head, I can tell you're set on this. Hey, what did you just say? No. It's not an easy way out. Ugh, sure, fine. It's useless talking about it. An idiot like me wouldn't understand what a goody two-shoes like you thinks. Let's decide this with an easier way. Come, Jiraiya! Come, Konohana Sakuya! Here goes the first battle! Captain versus Snow Black is about to begin! Who will Lady Luck smile upon? I'm as curious to find out as you are, dear viewers! Oh, Yosuke-kun, 
Um, I'm sorry I didn't go easy on you. Nah, I really am worthless scum. I'm sorry you have to put up with me. Huh? Yukiko, I understand what you wanted to say, but I need a moment. I don't think my heart can take any more right now. Yukiko-san? Are, are you hurt or anything? Huh? No, I'm fine. But Yosuke-kun, are you sure your heart's okay? You look pretty shaken up. That ain't... I mean, that's not true. Uh, huh? We had something to go on. I did notice that there were some shadowy people around us while we were fighting. Yeah, they looked like students or shadows. Though they were too well behaved to be the kind of shadows we're used to. Well, if they're not going to attack us, we can leave them alone for now. Oh, another thing. Teddy said that if I don't fight, I won't be able to reach my most cherished thing. Most cherished? Like something that's really important to you? Oh, maybe he met me! I doubt that. Who knew a gentle denial could hit so hard? <laughs> oh, could it be... Oh no, did I drop it somewhere? I'm sorry, Yusuke-kun, I need to go look for it. Huh? Look for what? Hey, Yukiko, you can't go alone, it's too dangerous! Yosuke-kun, what are you doing? Is that a mime act? No, it's... There's some invisible wall here. What the hell? You got through, but I can't. Huh? Did I forget to tell you? Only the winner can move on to the next fight. No one's getting out of this school until a champion's been crowned! Only the one who fights to the very end and comes out on top can lead! What's up with that? What am I supposed to do then? I can't get out of here! Ha <laughs> That's right! So, but you're stuck there, Yosuke! Now, Yuki Chuck, if you want to get your cherished thing back, you know what to do! I'm sorry, Yosuke-kun. I have to go. Wait, you're seriously ditching me? Yukiko! Yukiko! Is this for real? What am I supposed to do if I have to take a leave? Excuse me, that's mine. You dropped this. <laughs> You're a careless one, ain't ya? You, you want to be more careful. Huh? Uh, oh, thank you. Yikes. That was a box lunch? Yeah. It's all jumbled up now, so I can't give this to anyone. Give it? Oh. Were you gonna share it with your friends? Mm-hmm. That's right. Wow. That's 
sounds great. You made it so you could enjoy it with everyone, huh? I'd love to do something like that myself. You gotta enjoy your youth while you can, right? Um, by the way, what are you... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Yukiko Amagi. So, what are you doing here? Well, I'm the student council president. It would be weird if I wasn't at school. Oh no, that's not what I meant. Are you, um, a persona user? No. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? There's that wackadoo event going on right now, ain't there? They can't pull stunts like that on campus. That's why I'm looking under every rock for them, so I can shut the whole shebang down. Excuse me, wackadoo? Does that mean it's not good? Are you looking all around the school so you can put a stop to this tournament? Well, that's what I said, ain't it? I can't believe they didn't run this by the student council first. <laughs> not that we ever would have approved a cockamamie event like this. Anyway, I gotta go stop this tournament. You too, you know. You're that, what was it? Snow Black? Huh? Uh, wait a moment. I'm not participating in it by choice. Hmm? Is that true? Well, you do look like a serious student. I can't believe they're even roping normal students into this. You should get yourself home and leave the rest to me. Huh? Oh, wait! Are you looking for something, Yuki-chan? Oh, I bet you miss me so much that you're looking high and low for me. Teddy, you better stop this right now or else. Oh, are you in a bad mood? I was looking forward to you trying to score with me. But no matter how mad you get, the battle won't stop. Your fate is to fight and fight and fight to the bitter end, Yuki-chan! So you'd better make up your mind! Now bring out the next challenger! Yoo-hoo, Yukiko! <laughs> what are you so upset for? Chie, thank goodness you're okay. I was worried with all the strange things going on in here. I found Yosuke-kun in the gym, so all that's left is to find Yukun and head for where Ted is. What? I don't want to do that. Huh? Chihei? How come I have to help? Just so you know, I'm having a blast with this P1 Grand Prix. You're always like that, Yukiko. You just assume you'll get your way. Have you ever thought about the problem you cause for others? You may not realize, but you completely rely on us. That box lunch you brought today is a perfect example. Nobody ever said they wanted you to make them one. No, I didn't mean it to be like that. Let's get today's episode of Girls Gone Feral started! There you go again, the same old I didn't mean crap from you. You think that excuses you from relying on other people? Yukiko, I'm serious about this. Let's settle this once and for all. 
Here goes... Persona! Really? Huh. I guess we'd better keep an eye out for her. A ponytail and a Yasugami High uniform. Okay, I can remember that. Hey, Yukiko. Is that your bum about that? Oh, man, what a tragedy. You're not getting away with this, Ted. You'll learn firsthand how vicious I can be over wasted meat. There's actually not much meat in it. Th there isn't? Anyway, let's hurry up and find him so we can get revenge for your box lunch. Come on, come on, let's hurry! Let's go! Whoa, Teddy, quit pulling! Teddy? And that's... 
What are they doing together? Don't tell me Teddy really is behind this tournament. Yukiko, you gotta hurry after them! Wasn't the girl with Teddy the one you were telling me about? Yeah, let's go, Chie. I can't, though! That's why you gotta hurry! Huh? Ugh, it's that stupid Grand Prix rule! I lost, so I'm stuck here! Alright, I'll come back for you though. I know! I believe in you! Go get him, Yukiko! Like I keep saying, you have to believe me! Why won't you understand? And suddenly, Yuki-chan's here! You're... Yukiko-san. It's time you explained yourself, Teddy. Why are you doing this? And who is that girl? Did you call her into the TV? I'm very upset with you right now. Oh, what are you talking about? The murder in your eyes is verifying! Why? Why is every cutie pie I meet angry with me? What did I do? Is it because I'm Miss President's knight? Hey, wait a sec. Even I think you seem kind of on edge here. There's no call to get so worked up. I'm sorry, but this is between Teddy and me. I'm sure you understand, Teddy. I'll say it one more time. If you upset me anymore, you're going to pay. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, you've turned green with envy be Come, Konohana Sakuya. Ah! Yuki-chan's seriousness gauge just exploded! It was your fault! But I'm Miss President's Knight! I can't lose! Kintoki Doji! Huh? A direct challenge against the General himself? We're joining this shocking turn of events already in progress. Now, who will win? The General or Snow Black? Let the argument be decided with this! All I have to do is check. Simple as that. Hey, Teddy, won't you try tasting my boxed lunch? Huh? <laughs> Yuki-chan? <laughs> no, no, not that! Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit.
incredible. I didn't know my boxed lunch had such powers. No matter what kind of shadow is lurking here, there's no need to fear as long as I have this. I should go feed it to everyone. Hey, Yukiko-san. Patty's not looking so hot. Holy crap! Are you alright? Mm-hmm. I'm okay. I'm glad I found you. Yeah, something's not right here. It's too dangerous to wander around separately. Here, eat this. It'll cheer you up. You could no! Yukiko, calm down. You need to snap out of it. This isn't like Yukiko. If she was in her right mind, she wouldn't be putting her friends' lives in danger like this. <clears throat> There's no way around it. I'm sorry, Yukiko. Don't worry, Yukun. My boxed lunch will help bring you back to normal. Are you alright, Yukun? I'll have you healed in no time. Have you returned to your usual self, Yukiko? <laughs> what are you talking about? Now, I brought a boxed lunch. You need to eat it. Impossible! She hasn't snapped out of it? Open wide! <laughs> um, is it delicious? There's more! <laughs> so tired that he fell asleep. Hmm, people can swallow food while they're asleep, right? I guess I should feed him something soft just in case. Ah, oh, there she is. Huh? Use with you? Um, Yosuke-kun? And everyone else, too? What's going on? Sheesh, what are you talking about, Yukiko-senpai? The case has been solved. Yep, but for some reason, you and Yukun hadn't shown up. That's why we all came looking for you. <clears throat> so, what were you two doing here? Huh? Naoto-kun's here, too? Let's all eat my boxed lunch to celebrate the case being solved. Huh? The uh, boxed lunch? She didn't say what I thought she said, right? Um, I assume your employees at the Amagi Inn made this for us? No, I made it myself. 
I put my heart into it. Huh? Wait, didn't your box lunch get all messed up? Oh, don't worry about that. It won't make a difference after you eat it. Yosuke, you'll try it, won't you? Uh, isn't that a bit... Hey, Kanji! Where do you think you're going? Get off my back! This ain't the time for bluffing! I I'm too young to die! Oh wait, there's probably not enough for me anyways. I, I can't take any if there won't be enough for my senpai. <laughs> you don't need to be so modest. I brought plenty. Holy crap! <laughs> Come on now, I want to see clean plates. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? The Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart and the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Very well. going every day lately. I'm surprised you're sticking to it. <laughs> the body is a temple, you know. I gotta start training now. Now? Oh no, it, it's nothing. <laughs> well, don't forget to train your brain, too. Uh, yes, mother. Hey there, Chie Chan. Did something good happen? Oh, can you tell? Is it what I think it is? You finally caught yourself a boyfriend? Jeez, you always have to bring that up. <laughs> Be careful on your jog. channel the other night? Whoa, whoa, wait a sec. Hey, hey, did you just say midnight channel? <gasps> um, excuse me? Ch Chie Senpai? What? Do you know her? N no, I don't know anything. <laughs> Sorry to barge in, but well, 
I'm kind of interested in the Midnight Channel. And I overheard you talking about it, so... <laughs> you mind telling me what you were saying? Um, what was it you told me? I heard that this time it's like a fighting show and that the people on it were fighting each other. Uh, I didn't know who was on it. I couldn't tell anything at all. Huh? But you just said... Well, please excuse us. Come on, let's go. Uh, hey! like me or something? But I've never even met her. I didn't do anything wrong, did I? better at getting information, or I'll be one lousy police officer. The Midnight Channel? Oh. I wonder if it'll start raining before midnight. News bringing you the headlines for May 2nd. At Junex, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Oh, I know. Maybe Yosuke's heard a couple of rumors about this. you picked up. Are you free to talk right now? Yeah, I just got off work. Didn't I already email you about tomorrow? You deleted without reading it, didn't you? How stupid do you think I am? sort of disturbing rumor. The Midnight Channel might be back again. Huh? The Midnight Channel? There's no way. Who told you that? An underclassman at our school. I tried to get more details out of her, but she took off in a huge hurry. Dude, you didn't growl at her or anything when you asked her about it, did you? N no, I was completely normal. At least I think I was. So anyway, the girl she was with said something about a fighting show. I didn't get any details, but she didn't seem like she was lying. And hey, the forecast says it's gonna rain tonight. Why don't we check it out? Yeah, good call. If this is for real, we can't ignore it. 
but if it turns out to be a hoax, you better buy me dinner. Hmm, then you owe me steak if it's true. What? Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Hmm, I should call Yukiko too. Oh wait, she might be too busy to pick up. Regards to Senpai and the others, won't you? Will do! Good luck with the job! Yes! Rain! Keep it up, clouds! This kind of brings back memories. Five more minutes to go. Rivals! They are... Friends! Yet powerful foes! Desperate fighting program amongst high school students! A new legend is about to start! May the manliest of all men come on down! Nobody touches his precious Nanako, the sister complex kingpin of steel, Yu Narukami! It's only natural. Wage slave in the boonies by day, hero by night! Captain Resultimo, Yosuke Hanamura! Everything that bores me has got to go! A spunky dragon with deadly legs! The carnivore who's discarded womanhood, Shie Satunaka! You need to eat more meat! Please escort me to the ring, my prince! The unconquerable Snow Black, Yukiko Amagi! I'll finish you in one strike! Blooming roses and bulging muzzles! The blood-curdling beefcake emperor, Kanji Tatsumi! Deep into realms of romance! The body of a child, the brain of a genius, the 2000 IQ killjoy detective, Naoto Shirogane! Is this an army of idiots? Fight and survive towards the one throne waiting at the end! The P1 Grand Prix where fierce fights will be fought! The battle begins tonight!
Hello? What the hell was that carnivore who's discarded womanhood crap? Ow! You almost blew out my eardrum! I haven't discarded it! I haven't, you hear me? I eat vegetables too, you know, and I haven't discarded my womanhood! All right, all right, just calm down. What was that about? Is that what everyone's been seeing? No wonder that girl got so spooked this afternoon. There, there, that's a good girl. Calm down. Hey, don't treat me like a rabid animal! Well, just think about how I feel. That Captain Ressentiment part isn't too cool. Ugh, let's ignore that for now. Look, there's something that bothered me about what we just saw. Teddy was in that video, and he looked like he's hosting the whole thing. Huh, really? Plus, he hasn't come home yet. And he's not picking up his cell either. What? Can you call Yukiko? I'll try and contact the others. I'm gonna hang up now, but I'll call back in about 30 minutes, okay? Got it. Huh? Risa-chan's gone missing? Yeah, her manager called the Amagi Inn to ask if I knew anything. Could it be related to the Midnight Channel? I don't know about that, but... Looks like Kanji's missing, too. His mom told me that he was sleeping in the living room, but then he disappeared. Then Teddy, Rize-chan, and Kanji-kun... Yeah, this might be serious. I'll see you at the food court tomorrow. Please be okay. Yukiko, you're early! Good morning, Chie. I couldn't stop thinking about things, so I wrapped up my shift at the inn early and came here. Um, I actually made a boxed lunch for everyone. Let's eat it together later. Wow, a boxed lunch? You made it? Don't worry, I made sure to taste test it first so it won't be like last year, I think. Well, you've got a point. We don't want people to keep calling us poison chefs, do we? Ooh, that does smell really good. Oh man, I can't wait to try it. Hey there, sorry I'm late. I ran into this guy at the elevator. Good to see you guys again. Welcome back! The guest of honor is finally here! You're looking well. Welcome back. Um, should we... Huh? Oh, he already knows about the Midnight Channel thing. He's actually the one who called me up about it. Oh, I see. This has turned into a pretty thrown-together reunion, hasn't it? But I'm glad you came. Well, it sucks that we can't hang out more before jumping into another mystery, but to celebrate our partner's return, I hereby reinstate the investigation team in response to the Midnight Channel going back on the air last night. Oh, the team is back! Just hearing that name again gets me all fired up. Yeah, let's do this! Uh, I don't think the applause is necessary. Well, let's get cracking. I mean, this is no laughing matter.
no one's heard from Teddy, Kanji, or Rise. Just those three, right? Yeah. Oh, I got a hold of Naotokun, but I didn't tell her about this stuff. She told me she couldn't make it today because of her job, so she seemed pretty bummed that she couldn't be here too. Um, one thing's been bothering me. The picture on the TV was very clear last night. Yeah, going by the pattern from last year, it wouldn't be that clear until after the victim entered the TV. Hey, isn't this the first time a big group of people was shown together? Plus, we're still here. Why us anyway? And what's up with those insulting dis- What bothers me most is Teddy. He was acting like the host of that show. Yeah, and we can't find him. This smells fishy. Then again, I doubt he would play a prank like this for no reason. I guess we'll just have to go inside the TV and find out what's going on. Won't we be stuck in there without Teddy to give us an exit? Uh-huh, not so. I've had Teddy keep the exit TV out on that side. Look at you, all prepared. I mean, think about it. What if we were half asleep and fell into a TV when Teddy wasn't over there? Isn't that a scary thought? Like anyone would be that clumsy. Anyway, it sounds like it's safe for us to go investigate then. Yeah, there's no doubt that something's going on in there. Is everyone ready? We're all good to go. To tell the truth, I had a hunch that this was going to happen. Yukiko, it'll be all right. You don't need to scrunch up your face. Uh, was I doing that? Yeah, you're gonna give yourself wrinkles. Uh, I'll be more careful. Don't worry, things are different from the way they were last year. We're old pros at this. It's a holiday, so the store's full of people. Well, it's huh. a bit more pricey. I feel like things are picking up around town. It's time to go. Hello. All the models are on sale right now. You know, it's been a while since last time. I'm a little nervous. Oh, wait! There are still people in this aisle! Hey! Get ready! Huh? The customers are going hey, away! Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! yeah. Is this our, our school? Hey, what do you guys... Where'd they go? Hey! 
Hey! Is anyone there? Where is this? Was it the P1 Grand Prix? Whoa! <coughs> hey! <coughs> what is this? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get our program started! Is that Risei Chan? for manners or courtesy or anything today, so let it all hang out. Tell us how you really feel. I, Reset, will be your commentator. But first, the general would like to say a few words. Commentator? General? It seems the time has come. <laughs> I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix! Wait, the general is Teddy? Hey, hey you! What are you doing? What's all this about? Welcome, T.A. Chan. You must now strive to become the champion among all fighters. Champion among all fighters? You don't mean we're gonna fight each other like it said on the Midnight Channel, do you? You're quick to understand. I bet you're already aching to get started, huh? Hey, enough with this sick joke. Everyone's worried about you, you know. I wouldn't know about that. Bring out the first challenger! Oh! Thank goodness you're okay. I guess I got separated from everyone else. Anyway, listen, I found Teddy, but he's not making any sense at all. He's telling us to fight against each other. Not making any sense? What, what, what's wrong? Aren't you gonna prepare yourself? The P1 Grand Prix's already started. Well, what's gotten into you? Seriously, I can't fight you. Why? Why? You're naturally violent, though. That's why you want to become a police officer. So you can be violent on the job. The serving and protecting thing is just a cover. What are you saying? You just want to act strong, no? So you don't have to face yourself. The real you is weak. You can't protect anyone. You're so pitiful, it's a struggle to protect yourself. But... I'm different now. Did you always think that about me, even though you were with me when I faced my shadow? Mmm, looks like things are heating up. Well then, let's get this show started. You heard her. Face me. Or die. You're serious. Then I'll make you remember. Here goes! Not enough! Ah, one 
Sorry about earlier. I didn't hold back at all. It must have hurt. But, but come on. Weren't you being a little too hard on me? Yeah, same to you. Although, I kind of get why you'd say that. Huh? Let's sort this out. There's too much going on that we don't understand. Oh, right, right. Um, first. The TV world reflects people's hearts, right? This time, it's turned into Yasugami High. If the same rules as last year apply, then someone related to Yasugami High may have entered here. Then... Where does that get us? I don't know. But we're forced to participate in this Grand Prix and fight one another. That host really was Teddy. And Rize-chan's announcing seemed like she was trying to rile us up too. But there's no way it could be them. Have you seen Yosuke and the others? No, not yet. We all entered the TV together, too. I see. Let's meet up with the others first. We'll deal with this new mystery after that. Right! <gasps> What's wrong? Okay. No use. Looks like these rules can't be broken. Then... If I concentrate on attacking a single spot, I may be able to break through. But you can't wait around for that. You'll have to go on without me. It's in your hands now. 
What's wrong? Huh? Oh, so sorry. I'm just nervous. You're better at solving cases and things, so I'm like, can I do this on my own? It really would have been better if I had lost, huh? <laughs> Great. It's not like you. Weren't you gonna protect everyone? Don't worry. Believe in yourself. You can save them. I... Plus, rushing headlong into things is your specialty, right? Hey! That's me! <laughs> but that's what's best about you, Chie. You're honest and straightforward. Thanks. I'll get going, then. I'll be back with the rest of the guys to save you. Just wait for us! you Venisonian. Let's do this with everything we've got. What's wrong with loving me? Wait, that's not what I meant to say. Ugh. You mean you want to fight too? Well, this is the P1 Grand Prix, you know. Since you're training to be a police officer, let me see some of your skills. You're not gonna show me your kung fu? Well, I guess it is pretty useless. It's not useless! I train myself so I can protect people! Protect my ass! You're just a brat who wants to be a hero. You say you want to become a police officer, but come on. I bet you're not even studying. Just stay home and play pretend. That way you won't get yourself hurt. Cowardly Chie Chan can't face reality after all. That's not. might be over before it starts! That wouldn't be any fun though, right? You gotta show off your kung fu pride! Beat some sense into you.
How'd you like the taste of my kung fu? Ow, shut up. You just had to keep going on and on about how I've got no convictions and stuff, didn't you? Sure, sometimes studying's a pain, but I still do it. It's not about wanting to be a hero. I'm serious about this. And why'd you have to bring up stuff about Saki-senpai? That's driving the knife in too far. Uh, what are you saying, Yosuke? When were we talking about your convictions? Dude, what are you saying? Why did you start this hero talk all of a sudden? Isn't Yasugami High? Hello! We jumped into the TV together? How could you forget that? Uh, oh, I see. My brain's been kind of scrambled. First I get thrown into this Grand Prix thing, and then you keep rubbing salt into my old wounds. Oh, come on! You did the same thing to me! Hmm? Wait, what's going on? You sound normal now, but before the fight... The same thing? happened a little while ago. You can started saying weird things, we fought, and then things were back to normal once it was over. Could this be another one of those rules in this world? But who would make rules like that? Could there be some bad guy out there making us crazy? I met that girl too. Our ponytailed student council president, right? Student council president? Oh, we must be talking about different people. Our president is a guy. Seriously? Dude, the elections were just last week. You can't even remember their gender? Oh, I slept right through all that. But if that's true, then is she lying about being the student council president? Why would she do that? I don't know. But I'm positive she's not the real president. And isn't it suspicious that she's inside the TV? Good point. Let's go see what's up, Chie. Uh, Yosuke! <laughs> Sorry. I forgot to tell you, but it seems like only the winner gets to go on. Why didn't you tell me sooner? My nose is all flattened now. Ka, it's fine. Man, I can't get through. Damn it. Guess I'm stuck waiting here. Wait! Oh no. What is it? What am I supposed to do if I need to use the bathroom? That again. Oh well. The rest is up to you, Chie. You're the only one who can solve this case and save my bladder. Huh? Oh, right. That second thing's an actual problem, though. Well, in any case, I'll be counting on you. Sorry, I, I wish I could help you. But I'm sure you can save the others. Y yeah I'll do my best. Make sure you think before you act, okay? Going with your gut isn't that bad, but you tend to lose control pretty easily. Ah, uh, uh, shut up! I'll solve this in no time. Haha, <laughs> that's the spirit. That president girl was headed to the announcement room. I'll be waiting to hear good news from you. Announcement room. 
here I come. Really? A cape. set this up only thought about blocking people's paths. Anywhere there already was a real wall got overlooked. Then I'll just go another way. What? Wait, 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 wait! How'd you... I mean, you, you can do that? I wonder if he's okay. drooling. Uh, should I try jumping down from here too? Wait, that's mine! I saw it first! Possession is nine-tenths of the law! If you hadn't yelled like that, I would have gotten it before you! Well, there's no way to know that for sure. In any case, this super special steak bowl from Aya is mine! Huh. <laughs> now I know I really can't let you have it. That's from Umiyushi. It's their ultra super beef bowl. If you can't even tell the dishes apart, you have no right to steal my meat. What? Uh, excuse me, this is from Aya. How would I mistake it from somewhere else? So, you think you know your meats, do you? All right, let's take this outside. We'll see who's more worthy of that bowl. Wow, this is the first time in real life I've been told to take something outside. All right, let's do this. teach you a true appreciation for meat. Are you ready? I'm ready. The question is, are you? I'll pound you. I'll tenderize you.
some too. If you stop glaring at me like that. Make fun of me. I'm not taking your pity. Show time! Dude, why were you passed out on the floor holding a convenience store bag? A convenience store bag? Steak bowl? You mean that crushed food packet you had? We threw it away, duh. You were gonna eat something you found in the TV world? You're really brave. Solved. Yes, thoroughly. Huh? While you were chasing your steak, we were hard at work. Gee, Senpai. You really are a carnivore. Um, uh, well... Job's over. You can go get some steak now. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? 